Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about the quad root exploit that is on Android devices. And I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the same. And in fact, if you follow me on uh, the live Q&A, just yesterday, I talked about it and it's nothing to be that much scared about, but still I'm getting a lot of questions on Twitter and some people are also emailing me with screenshots and getting scared. So let's get the facts about this uh, quad root exploit that's on Android phones. And this is uh, actually a very different kind of exploit. It doesn't affect all every Android phone out there like the stage fright exploit that was there last year. In fact, that was much more severe. But for some reason, this quad root exploit is getting a lot of media attention. Hence, many users are worried about it. And the thing is that this uh, quad root exploit is uh, a collection of four vulnerabilities. And this affects only Qualcomm based Snapdragon devices. It's basically a driver level flaw. Uh, that is made by Qualcomm and used by Qualcomm SOCs. Hence, Qualcomm phones are affected. And it affects from, uh, what do you say, even low-end uh, uh, Qualcomm-based uh, smartphones. For example, this is running on the Snapdragon 200. To even high-end uh, Qualcomm-based smartphones like this, that's the Nexus 6P. Uh, so it affects almost all of the Qualcomm-based smartphones. The good thing is that if your phone is not having a Qualcomm Snapdragon-based processor, you are not affected. For example, I did test it on this Lenovo Vibe K5 Note, which is running on the MediaTek chipset, and uh, it's not affected. Uh, but again, should you be really worried? That is the question, because uh, Checkpoint uh, claims that 900 million Android devices are affected with this flaw, and uh, I say that's not the whole truth. The truth is that this exploit uh, uh, actually uh, you, it doesn't install by itself. You just go to a web page or something. You have to install it via a app. And actually, if you do not sideload apps or do not, uh, uh, what do you say, install unauthorized apps and just install apps from Google Play Store, you are completely covered. Google has come out clearly and stated that uh, if you download apps from Google Play Store, uh, they have this uh, thing called, uh, what do you say, Android Verify Apps that is enabled by default. In fact, I recall uh, Google enabled this by default from uh, uh, 2012 with Android J Jelly Bean. So again, if you're running a uh, uh, latest version of Android or even Android version uh, 4.2 and above, uh, the Verify app is enabled by default and uh, that will detect this flaw and it will not uh, let malicious apps to be installed. So again, to be safe, I always uh, say that install your apps directly from Google Play Store. Don't, uh, what do you say, sideload uh, APKs and stuff from uh, unknown sources. That's always unsafe. Uh, also, uh, the thing is that with the latest Android update, again, I tested it in four different phones. For example, as I've told you, it does not affect MediaTek devices. For example, I also checked it on this Vibe K find out and runs on the MediaTek chipset. And we have this quad root uh, app that detects. And as you can see for this uh, K find out, uh, it's not exploited. But again, uh, when I tested it with other phones, for example, having the Qualcomm chipsets, for example, the Nexus 6P, as you can see uh, from the screenshot, only uh, out of those four vulnerabilities, only one is affected as of now because Google has patched uh, this vulnerability with the latest Android update. That is the August update. And Google has already mentioned that with the next Android security update that is going to come sometime in September, all the four exploits will be patched. And I also tested it on other phones to give you an example. I also tested it on this Mi Max. And if you see, uh, uh, three vulnerabilities are there on this Mi Max because it's running on the July uh, Android security update. Uh, whereas I also tried it on this uh, uh, Life uh, Flame uh, One handset, which is a basic handset. And uh, on this, all the four exploits are, are there because it runs on a very old Android security patch that's on April. So again, uh, I would say don't worry about this. If you are legally just downloading apps directly from the Play Store, you are covered because uh, Android already has that Android Verify app functionality which detects these exploits. Uh, so if you're downloading from Play Store, you don't have to worry. But again, if you're downloading stuff from, uh, uh, for example, side loading uh, APKs, etc., you have to be a little bit careful. And again, uh, if you are having the latest Android updates on your device, you should be covered. As Google has already said, uh, in September, they'll release another Android security update that will cover all the four flaws. 
So again, that brings me to the point, some of the manufacturers delay these Android security updates. And that's the reason I get really pissed with that. So again, uh, check for these updates. And again, if you are downloading apps directly from the uh, Google Play Store, you should not be worried about this squad uh, root exploit. It's just getting a lot of media attention and that is nothing to be too much worried about it. I hope this uh, video makes uh, sense. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. Again, I'll also have links for the quad root uh, app that checks your phone to see if it is exploited. And also I'll have a link to the Android authorities article. Uh, they have written a very nice article where Google cleanly says that you don't have to be worried about this uh, quad root exploit if you are legally downloading apps from the Google Play Store. So again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, again, I hope to see you in my next video.